May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from harm. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. Welcome to another Cuke Audio mini podcast. I pray that you and yours are safe and comfortable, free from economic hardship, and able to get out and do whatever it is you want within the limitations of the universal precept of do as little harm as possible. So today we have uh, another uh, excerpt from a Shunyu Suzuki lecture, uh, an audio excerpt uh, that um, a lecture he gave on uh, March 30th, 1969. Oh yeah, after that bad flu. God. Man, he got he'd get these flus. Gee. Seemed his body was sort of weak from I don't know, World War Two or whatever. They had a lot of deprivation in there. Going out and getting anything in the woods they could to eat, including after the war, you know, until uh all the food from America started arriving. And the white devils turned out to be angels. Um, so, um, yes, that was um, our noblest hour, our, a noble hour, our America's response after World War II. Uh, not I mean, there, there's pros, there, there's problems too, according to some people, but that's enough of that. Um, so, um, Anyway, uh, this uh, uh, audio clip was placed at the end of Chapter 17 of Crooked Cucumber, The Life and Zen Teaching of Shunyu Suzuki, second edition, the audiobook. Available only in audiobook. I was in bed for a long time and just practicing zazen in bed. I should enjoy my bed. Sometimes it was difficult. If it is difficult, I laughed at myself, why is it so difficult? Why don't you enjoy it? You know, your difficulty. That is, I think, our practice. Thank you very much. I was in bed for a long time. I'm just practicing that and in bed. <laughs> I should enjoy in my bed. <laughs> Sometimes it was difficult. <laughs> uh, if it is difficult, I laughed at myself. Why is it so difficult? <laughs> Why don't you enjoy, you know, your difficulty? <laughs> uh, that is, I think, our, our practice. Thank you very much. So, thank you very much. That means it was the end of a lecture. Because uh, he always said thank you very much at the end of his lectures. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, this is, um, you know, he was never afraid to expose any problem he had or any weakness. Like, I was in bed and with this flu, and it was difficult. And I thought, well, why can't I enjoy the difficulty? Uh, why is it so difficult? You know, uh it sounds like some question someone would ask him, right? But he's sharing with us that he was having a problem. Um, especially for a teacher uh, coming from Japan, uh, you know, uh, showing some weakness like that. Uh, 
I don't think it's uh, every day. Uh, I don't think it's the the norm. Uh, and uh, you know, it, it's something I've thought about when I had uh, my meager little positions of authority or whatever. When I was head monk, or when I've been director or whatever, any place where people are looking up to you for guidance or whatever, and when we get in those positions. I like to share every problem and doubt I have, but, you know, you shouldn't overdo it. There's a, um, there was that movie, uh, well, there were some movies about submarines in World War II, and, uh, you know, some, some guy uh, took over being the captain of the submarine. Maybe the captain was sick or died or... Maybe this was his first one, and and he confided to his first mate that in, in some situation they were in, didn't know what to do or whatever, and the guy said, don't let people know you're thinking that. You know, they've got to think you know what you're doing. <laughs> Something like that. And I think about that. Uh, you know, you, you, to, to in, it was more, I, you know, it was like, You've got to be encouraging to them. You don't want to discourage them. You're going to need each one of them to give it all they've got and have confidence. So we should do that to each other, I think. We should give each other confidence. And uh, we, should, uh, we shouldn't we should overdo the doubt thing, you know, because we can get into it as a trip, you know. And I've had periods where I did that. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm lost. Uh, <laughs> I'm just a leaf floating down this stream. <laughs> uh, uh, I do feel that way. But um, I'm not going to reveal it. <laughs> um, so, and, and he would apologize. That's actually harder. You know, I'm sorry, I got angry, uh, I apologize. Wow, really good. I mean, he was so good at that. Um, wow, I really admired that. Uh, and uh, very quick, I mean, instantaneously, like uh, Ed Brown shared uh, the um, question in a question and answer period or something where somebody says, why haven't you enlightened me yet? And rather than say, me enlighten you? That's not the way it works, buddy. <laughs> uh, I'm just giving you hints. The work's up to you. No, rather than saying anything like that, he just said, I'm doing my best. Wow. You know? Uh, that's, I admire that. I admire that. Um, well, you know, some of that comes from just being Japanese, and some of that comes from the character he developed throughout his life. And it took time. It really uh, matured and blossomed in America. Uh, and so, you know, he'd say, uh, he'd share his... It's weaknesses, like like when uh, the story of uh, and it, that he told when he almost drowned, he discovered he was uh, he discovered he was attached to his breath and uh, didn't know what to do, and you know uh, realized his practice wasn't good enough, and he said we've got to redouble our efforts. Um, anyway, you get the idea. So let's hear what he had to say again. All right. I was in bed for a long time. I am just practicing that and in bed. <laughs> <laughs> I should enjoy in my bed. <laughs> Sometimes it was difficult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if it is difficult, I laughed at myself. Why is it so difficult? <laughs> 
Why don't you enjoy? You know, you have difficulty. <laughs> uh, that is, I think, our, our practice. Thank you very much. This has been a Kyuk Audio mini podcast. I'm DC Puba of Kyuk Audio and Kyuk Archives coming to you from Sleepy Sanur with Doggett Bandita, Feline Kuchita, and very soon, dear lovely Katrinka will be with us and not just in spirit for her plane takes off from America today, the 12th of January 2022. And then she could be here by the 20th, you know, with the one-week quarantine uh, in Jakarta. You can only fly into Jakarta. Or Minato, but she's not going to fly into Minato. Um, Can't fly into Bali internationally. Um, And uh, unless there's one person positive, test positive on her airplane, then she'll have to be in a hotel for two weeks. Ouch. So um, hope to see you by the 20th, Katrinka. Okay, so anyway, the doggies and Katrinka and I and... All sentient beings are wishing you and yours and all of us a grand awakening.